Welcome back, everyone. My name is Elton Martin. We're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left last time, we just started back in Dresden with our trickster. Leoder Hawkblade is here. Commander, I had time to visit Nerosian and come back to you with the latest updates about Count Arende's trial. The Holy Church provided me with the services of a mage for teleportation this time, so the journey was swift. Your personal guarantee played an immense role in the tribunal's decision. Most of the judges considered Darren Arendae's presence beside you a sufficient guarantee of the safety of safety for the Count himself and those around him. As long as the Count serves you, he will not be taken into custody. Please allow me to present you with a small reward. For me personally, your assistance in this matter was truly invaluable. He gave us a bunch of cool things. Now that I've updated you on the latest news, let me make a request. With the case of the other clothes, I found myself rather at a loose end. There are no worthy cases demanding my attention in Mendev. I'd like to join your army. Commander, I could be useful both to you and the Crusaders. I can keep an eye on the Count, just in case something strange starts happening with him again. Welcome to the Crusade, Leoder. Happy to serve, Commander. And let me know that investigating the case with you was a real pleasure for me. Well, I feel bad about killing him with my other playthrough. I feel really bad about that now, actually. We, uh, we murdered him with our Legend playthrough. Interestingly, the trickster did not, and uh, that makes me feel like I'm a bad guy a little bit. We kind of just murdered him, and that isn't so good. Anyways, we got a ring protection plus six. It's all right. Uh, we are going to head out, though. We're going to go all the way down to the south. Um, I don't need to rest, I don't think, before we head out. We're only going in one area. It shouldn't be that far away. We're dropping off land, picking up Darren. And we're going to head all the way to uh, the Soul area, which is way down here. Gravestone Rock. Sorry, that was a bit of a yawn talk. Sometimes you just get sleepy. Uh, Alright, there is an army coming in here. Let's join this up. A whole five more beer elementals. Nice. Um, this army is not very strong. Let's go kill it. And we are a long ways away. Oh yeah, I did that already recently. Uh, let them flee. We don't lose anything, so that is fine. In a torn tent that served as the command base of the defeated unit, soldiers find several notes with instructions from some influential demon of the Threshold Fortress. After studying them carefully, the officers drew a number of important conclusions on demonic tactics. Whether these conclusions are correct or not, that remains to be seen in the battles to come. Okay. Uh, I think we're done killing demons on this side, actually, so... Oh, I guess we have one more to go. That's a, that's a long way. Ah, oh, we'll still go all the way around and deal with it. Just not today. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the other army... Oh yeah, we have a brand new unit. I uh, managed to recruit this between videos. Well, not really recruit it. There's a decree that I had to do. This is our very first Scaled Eldritch Disciple Paladin. It is... Pretty damn good, honestly. Oops. Uh, it has almost a thousand hit points on its own. 29 armor class, which is the highest among our group. Um, 99 power for its stuff. It also has nunchucks, plus 41. I actually don't think it does as much damage as some of our... Oh, actually it does. It does more. Uh, not as much as our dragon slayers, obviously, but uh, it's still pretty good. And we're going to try and get more of them. They require a decree to get, which means that they're a little bit hard to get. Uh, we have 10 Hell Knights just kicking around. We also have a new Inquisitor War Priest Army. I think that was a decree we did. We did Tiefling's Rites. That's one of them. Enchanting Voice. One of the units ran into a monster with a hundred female heads. They were singing in sweet voices, and the singing was putting both Crusaders and Demons to sleep. One Deaf Knight slew the creature, but even death did not silence the heads. The soldiers cut them off, or cut one of them off, gagged it, and brought it to Dresden. What should be done with the head? We can sell it for finance points. We can use it against the demons, which gives us the demonic lullaby ability, which is a sleep ability. Use it for healing, reduction of losses. Set up resting wards, which gives everyone well rested for 45 days, which actually isn't all that good. We'll use it for healing, and uh, we don't have Wendwog, so it doesn't matter. Decrees. We have two decrees on the go. We have Ninja Pirate Training and we have Northern Lights. We're going to do also the... what? Can we do any of the other ones? No, we literally can't. Uh, we don't have any other things to do that we have access to at the moment. Alright, well, I guess that's it for now. Let's move our forces. Uh, we do have that... actually, we go over to here. Defense Force. 
I'm just going to disband. Uh, no, we're not going to disband it, just in case we need some backup. We'll just join this to this. That's a lot of Inquisitors, honestly. 75 Inquisitors is pretty good. Uh, anyways, Defense Force. I want to try it out. Uh, we're going to try it out on this demon army here, this 7. Shouldn't be a particularly hard fight, so we'll try to see what this, uh, this army can do. I'm going to pursue them because I want to see this fight. <clears throat> Normally I just let them flee and then kill them. Let's blow up some of them just to make sure we don't actually lose anything. I actually didn't do as much as I'd hoped. Uh, we are going to... Wait. You have Greater Shout, which is pretty good. I just Oh, I can Greater Shout whatever. Alright, we need more of these guys, it seems. Uh, we'll just wait everyone out. They killed a hundred zombies. Let's start murdering things. So our Hedge Knights are coming in to deal a bunch of damage. We'll go hit the... I should have gone there. We don't have enough ninjas to do a lot of damage, unfortunately. They can reach us this turn, but we can wait it out for a sec. So I think our forces are good, they just need to be more of them. Like, they're strong units individually. We just don't have enough of them to make it worthwhile yet. Three whole damage. Nice. Moving up. Killing some guys here. We do heal for just an absolute ton, though. We heal for more damage than we even do. And we have multiple attacks, which is always nice. Cool. Alright. Good to know that this army could actually be very good, so long as we get more of these guys and just more units in general. We need more Hedge Knights as well, but we don't have an easy way to get those. Only mercenaries bring them up. And we don't have a whole lot of that. Give me the base. I don't want the units. Okay, just move. Thank you. We're going to buy more things. Um, I think I'm just going to buy another great Garrison Champion Hall here. That should help that problem. Alright. Um, that's our main dude. I don't think I'm going to attack with my defense force again, just because I want to get more units in it first. So we just go stay there, and let's move our main army. Our main hero band. Oh, we can buy more troops. Uh, we don't want any of those. We do want the hedge knights, so let's grab those guys. And these guys. Those guys are going to our other army, way over here. And then we're going to buy our standard troops for our main army. Which is costing us just all the money. I do have a bunch of generals kicking around, so let's assign that one. And we're going to move all the way down here. It's a bit of a journey. That is okay. I think it's... Where's our force? We're going to this place, so try and get there. We can teleport our army, but we're not going to do that either. Alright, moving on. As soon as we see things move around a little, or we get fatigued. Alright, can things move again? Yes. So come there. I think the secondary army will make it there before our main army does, which is fine. <laughs> and there we go. Our army is now level 9. That's pretty good. We still don't have a whole lot of ninjas yet, but we're going to get a couple more. We are going to strengthen the chain of command, that seems important. Uh, we can't quite do the logistics one yet. We also can't do any of the other ones yet. So... that's it. 
We'll send the ninjas to go join up with the army, because they are here. There's a whole three of them. I really wish they would spawn more of them at one time. They're very slow to spawn. We're going to have to rely on that call to arms, I think, to get any reasonable amount of them. Sorry, just a bit of a cough there. Still getting over being sick just a little bit. Ah, uh, that's fine. Moving on. Evading our enemies, because we really don't need any more experience, nor do we need any more money or anything you get from fighting those things. Uh, we'll continue on to Gravestone Rock. We'll rest when we get there. Alright. Close. We're gonna do our armies thing first, and then we'll rest. So one army has arrived. You are not that army. Okay. Uh, how do I do this without just... I guess I can just do... I think I can just put all, the whole army there. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that. That gets rid of that force. And we can just move in and fight this 11 army. It shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. I could be wrong. No, it's fine. We're all good here. We've killed a bunch of them. There's a couple coming in, but... Um... That hurt a lot. We're gonna have to heal those guys up. Damn, but bows and their ability to kill things while killing them back. We'll heal up our assassins first, because they took the most damage by a lot. And then we'll shoot some Pavows. Probably that group, because I think this group has to come all the way around. They definitely still made it, which is annoying, but whatever. Um... That's fine. You guys can lay on hands self, which should cure up a bunch of you. And then just kill those. We are not going to kill that Merilith. Because we are probably way over it. For Actually, we're not. But I'm still going to wait it out. That is heal, right? Oh, we have an actual... Oh, no, we don't have a heal with this group. The other group has heal. Alright, there we go. Now we for sure are below our... Confirm recap. I just wanted to make absolutely sure because I didn't want to lose troops pointlessly. 74 paladins died, but they all came back to life. They're fine. Everyone's all good. Now there's a billion armies to fight now. As you can see, they're just everywhere. Minotaurs and random things and more random things. That's 20,000 finance points. Shit. Did we kill the minute? What's the... Oh! The Breastplate of the Tireless Warrior is extremely good. I'm gonna go get that. That's actually kind of important. And the reason for that is... Um, it stops fatigue entirely on your main... Whoever's wearing it. I guess not really main character necessarily, but... It's gonna be on our main character, but... Definitely gets rid of it on... Oops, I fudged that up. Mmm, this could suck a little. Didn't mean hit W. How much is this going to hurt? Not that bad, actually. Okay. Finishing that one off. Finishing this one off. And that's the end of the fight. We get our breastplate, which is kind of a good thing. It's a, it's just a decent breastplate, so you don't have to deal with fatigue on your whoever's wearing it, ever. It makes you immune to it. Our other group has that already. Plus five adamantine breastplate grants its wearer immunity to fatigue and exhaustion. Our other group already has it. It's just we did that fight already with them. So yeah, that's pretty neat. This gives material points. I'm gonna save before doing it just in case. I don't imagine it's gonna be that tough. Of a well, we went too far that way. Nope, we can't reach him. That is fine. Let's move you to join your army.
Now we have a whole 20 of them. Sweet. Uh, and we're going to keep moving this horse. It's here, so we're going to rest. Actually, we're going to put that armor on first, and then we'll rest. Done. Cool. Resting time. Begin resting. Nenu has a level drain? From what? I guess we'll find out. In we go. I'll probably do the rest of the big fights for, like, the campaign stuff between videos, because... I mean, once you've seen a fire blast murder spree happen, you don't really need to see it again. Sila, we're finally here. This whole time, I've been so worried. I just couldn't stop thinking about the stolen souls. Greetings, Commander. A land greets you with the discipline of a soldier. He's calm and composed, and his voice is steady. I kept watch, just like you instructed. They're definitely keeping the trapped souls here. I've seen the jewelry myself, but the place is well guarded. We'll have to fight our way inside. Yeah, and it won't just be a small skirmish. It seems like all the surviving cultists fled here from the wound after they lost in Canabras and Dresden. Jenna stands next to Alan and tries to look confident. You can tell she wants to prove herself. She's doing her best to regain everyone's trust. What is this place? What are we up against? It looks like this place belonged to those Baphomite creeps. Sila points to a few familiar symbols. I knew it. I knew this was one of their schemes. It was too elaborate to be the Deskerites. Well, looks like we're up against cultists, demons, the usual. There's one more thing I should mention. Derek Sunhammer is here. I saw him at the entrance to the cave. He had the trapped souls with him, or rather the jewelry that contains the trapped souls. He was looking at the different pieces, holding their gemstones up to the light. I think he was admiring his handiwork. It's safe to assume that he is a significant figure within the cult. That means he'll probably be a formidable opponent. Well, let's go find the souls. And we'll give those cultists a good thrashing. We'll make those assholes pay for what they've done. I guess we'll stay here and guard the entrance so you don't get stabbed in the back, but if you need help, we'll be there straight away. You bet we will. I'll never desert my friends again. Sila beams at her two friends. For the League of the Inspiring Cart, I'm so happy you're both here. We'll save the day together. Sure we will. And by that they mean, I'll go save the day by myself while they do nothing, you soul. But that's fine. That is the way of the world. Oh, we only need one negative level. Okay, cool. Let's do some buffs. Do we need this? We only really need the two. That's weird. Not the right spell. That's fine. I guess we can't really kill ourselves anyways. I don't know why I thought that was mind, uh, the communal one. But what I need from you... Not you. From you is that one. Alright, I think that's good enough. I mean, we're at the point of the game where we're pretty close to being nigh unstoppable. I mean, there are still things that can kill us, but... Adamantine golems probably aren't one of them. Should have mounted Sila up. Oh well. Where is Nenio on this turn order? Oh, she's last. Immune to Hellfire Ray? That seems... that's Im that's illegal. You can't be immune to Hellfire Ray. Go blow him up. Or don't blow him up. Alright, we're in a surprise round. Well, that was easy. Next! Let's open the door and see what's in the next room. It looks like skulls. Skulls are the next room. I sense something. Everyone halt. We got kind of lucky that nobody blew up there. The struggles but let's never use a Ruchelite to go deal with this. I'm glad I was useful. And to then you. everyone gathers up, but a Ruchelite is in front. Allow me. Yeah, that's I'm exactly what I figured was going to happen. Oh, color gem combo here. puzzle. Is there more? Don't know the solution yet. We'll figure that out eventually. Go in this way now. Something is not right here. You call. A rouge lake. Gotta go past again. I will follow my dream. There's two traps in here. One leading to there. Ooh, that was really close. She almost wandered onto that here. other one. Is there more? I'm glad I was useful All to right. you. Let's save. I sense something. I hit halt, but Let's nobody halted. Well, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We got some Painaja behind us. I Mythic ones, I might add. That one's running away because it's feared, which I find extremely amusing. Let's just heal up. 
We did get chain lightninged. It did kind of hurt a little. There's an Uliudru somewhere. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Almost killed that guy. Let's go find and kill so some of these other things. Oh, there's the Uliudru. That one's gone too. Alright, bye. Didn't kill him. Prepare yourself. That one tried to run away and instantly blew up. That guy's paralyzed from fear. Let's uh, chase after that other guy with Sila so that she can't get away. Or it can't get away. All right. Problem solved. Everything's dead that needs to be dead. Something is not right here. What do you mean something's not right? It's perfectly fine. It's a treasure chest. You found a hidden treasure chest. How is that not right? If finding treasure is wrong, I never want to be right. Let's go open the door. I think this might be where Derek Sunhammer is. Although I'm not 100% sure Keep on your that. Calm. I found it does appear so. Uh, yep. Here he is. Something. Master Derek looks just as friendly and polite as he did on the day he welcomed you into his jewelry shop in Dresden. His attire is still rich and exquisite, but now it features a gem-encrusted symbol of Baphomet. A grotesque shadow hovers beside him, a demon, perhaps the same one that stole the jewelry at Alan's wedding. Ah, the victorious commander and his valiant companion. I was so certain you had been swallowed up by the abyss. Oh well, life is full of disappointments. Cultists are so talkative these days, why don't we skip, to the, or skip the heart to heart and get to business? The demon at Master Derek's side laughs nasally or nastily. Why, valiant paladin, don't you want to know who you've really been dealing with this whole dealing with this whole time? He's not just a cultist or a demon worshipper. You're talking to the Grand Master of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth. Well, I saw Nocticula kill Baphomet, your lord died at her hands. I'm fully aware of the Lady in Shadow's capabilities. Forgive me for being blunt, but you have not told me anything I do not already know. I do not mourn my master's temporary demise. His defeat is nothing more than a setback. We may be forced to retreat, but like the tide, we will always return. However, even the, most permanent, or even the permanent death of Lord Baphomet would not sway me from my beliefs. Do you know why the abyss is so beautiful? It spawns new beasts to replace the old. It sustains itself in an endless cycle, the unchanging sum of chaos and evil. It will never cease to exist. His voice is a mixture of zeal and admiration. If Lord Baphomet meets his end, I will simply find myself a new master. I have some questions, Grand Master. You can ask whatever you'd like. I might even answer, but... You don't need to address me by my title. Though it sounds formidable, it's purely honorary and places no obligations upon me, which suits me perfectly. So you were the one who led the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth into battle? You may find this surprising, but no, that was not my role. The dwarf speaks with surprising candor. Demon generals like Jerabeth and Minago have rendered my services unnecessary. They are the ones who lead the troops in the world wound. I realized I could not compete with them, so I moved away from military operations and began to focus on my own intrigues. And it's thanks to those schemes that our paths have collided. Why are you stealing souls? Isn't the answer obvious? I wanted to spread terror throughout the city, and I could use the souls as leverage to coerce people into doing my bidding. I spent years developing a reputation amongst Mendevian high society. Everyone knew who I was, and my work was in high demand. And then slowly, with almost surgical precision, I distributed the jewelry. I knew when to sell someone a useless bauble and when to give it to someone special. Then I ordered the demons to act. All the jewelry had gemstones that were designed to ensnare souls. I told the demons to capture the souls of the jewelry's owners and bring them to me. All across Mendev, dozens of mortals were suddenly trapped. All of their friends and loved ones were left alone with their grief. They held the lifeless bodies of their children or their beloved and clung to the hope that maybe someday there'd be a way to bring them back. And that's when I struck. I threatened, I coerced, I offered hope. I did everything I could to tear down your crusade from the inside. If I had stayed in the abyss a little longer, even a couple of months would have sufficed, or if I had stayed, or if me as a character had stayed in the abyss a little longer, even a couple of months would have sufficed, you would have had an altogether different welcome waiting for you. You would have returned to find Mendev engulfed in civil war. I've met all kinds of monsters, but none of them have been this full of themselves. Oh, brave paladin, Master Derek's voice is kind, almost sympathetic. You know so little of the world and understand even less. Who's the demon? The demon cackles gleefully. You don't know me, but I know you. We've met several times. Except I was controlling the body of your friend, the nimble but empty-headed Curl. How did Sila, Curl, and the others get involved in all of this? It was all the result of a rather absurd series of coincidences. It started when a certain knight, burning with love and passion, came to buy a ring for his bride-to-be. 
he was willing to pay quite an exorbitant sum. Now, I don't normally waste my time with mundane, ordinary folk, however, his ardor and the strength of his love, along with the fact that he was one of Ayamade's nauseatingly righteous lackeys, made him irresistible, so I decided to craft him a ring with a demon inside. I took great pleasure in the thought that someday he would realize he'd been given a deadly gift to the person he loved most. He would have to live with the knowledge that he had doomed his beloved to a terrible fate. Well, thank you for the valuable life lesson. I can assure you that this nauseatingly righteous knight has taken it to heart. I thought you were just a master, or I thought you were a master of intrigue, cold-blooded and cunning, but you're not clever or cunning, you're just cruel. There's nothing special about your schemes, they're just an excuse to hurt people. The more you talk, the more I want to kill you. Every word you say brings you closer to your inevitable demise. But I haven't even told you the best part, Brave Paladin. The most ridiculous coincidence of it all was the Halfling Curl. Did you know my Templars recruited him? He's been our informant for a long time. You're lying. Not at all. The Condemned provide an endless supply of recruits. They're easy targets. What they lack in quality, they make up for in quantity. We recruited Curl when we were preparing for the attack on Canabris. If there's any consolation, the fool quickly grew disenchanted with Baphomet's cause. He refused to spy for us, but we gave him a good scare and he gave up. We barely had to torture him at all. He continued to spy for us, but he dreamed of escape. He clung to the hope that someday he could run away, not just from us, but from the Crusades as well. He wanted to go far, far away where no one would ever find him. Then one day, by complete chance, he found out about the ring that Master Derek gave to the foolish knight Alan. The ring I was hidden in, the demon chuckles maliciously. The idiot thought that it was some priceless artifact, thought if he stole it, he could sell it, and use the money to start a new life elsewhere. He went to the deserted camp, grabbed the ring, and gave me his lovely, agile body, as well as the chance to have a good laugh. It was so amusing to put that valiant paladin against her brave knight friend. Well, it's time we put an end to this whole affair. Look at your friends, brave paladin. Look at the commander and the crusade's, uh, the crusade's greatest hope. You've led them all to their deaths. Alright, we're going to give this fight another try. It's actually tougher than I thought it was going to be. We're going to do some spells. And we're going to do a little pre-gaming pre here. We're going to redo our haste. And we're going to start by casting some Syracos right here. Freaking Darren Sunhammer loves his own spells. So we're also going to grab Smile. The world's not ending protection just from yet. fire. Resist fire. I will help we're going to grab things like Holy Sword. Angelic aspects, all that jazz. We already put our great courage on, that was kind of pointless, but whatever. I welcome your company. And we're gonna do things like we already have holy aura on, but shield the law. Alright, that should be good, I think. Let's walk into the room. We're gonna skip through the conversation, because we've already done it. Time we put an end to this whole thing, and let's fight him out. He... We'll probably get to go first. He does do a Sirico. Loves Sirico, and he also does... I actually don't know what... I think it's just Sirico, honestly. And they just don't have any damage reduction. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna move that way somewhere. There is gonna be a Lilithu doing something, but not really. We're gonna do those two spells on Derek. And we're gonna try and fight this other guy here. Everyone's down, but that's fine at the moment. She did not die. I was kind of really hoping she was going to, but that's fine. Seela's getting back up. Can't hit that guy yet. See, it's gonna take some damage. All of our other people are unable to move. Derek Sunhammer's taking a bunch of damage. We finally killed that guy. We're gonna take a monstrous amount of damage. That's also fine. And that's the end of the fight. Master Derek Sunhammer is gravely wounded, but he does not lose his composure. He remains calm and dignified in the face of death. It seems I've made a mistake. I should not have fought you. Still, I do not regret taking the risk. He turns to Sila, and there's a malevolent gleam in his eyes. You may have the commander by your side, but look at yourself, Paladin. Look at these you've taken under your wing. Derek's mouth twists in an unpleasant smile. Your friends are a thief, a coward, and a stubborn oaf. 
You couldn't unite them or inspire them to great deeds. On the contrary, you made everything worse. Yet here you are now blaming me for everything that's happened, as if it's all my fault. Somehow we're responsible for your somehow I am responsible for all your woes. My evil plans and schemes have ruined your lives. You believe that if you can just rid the world of evil people like me, it will become a paradise. Life will be fair and just, and everyone will be joined together in the bonds of friendship. He bursts into a wheezing laughter, and then falls silent forever. Sila stares at Derek's lifeless body. She's breathing heavily, but you can't tell if it's from the intensity of the battle, or if she's simply overwhelmed with emotion. Is it over? Have we removed the evil? Why that cultist scum? Even on death's door, he's still spewing venom. Jenna pauses, as if she's had sudden revelation. Wait, we won, right? We completed our mission! Her eyes light up with excitement, and an incredulous smile spreads across her lips. It doesn't matter. He tried to poison our souls, but his words mean nothing. He is lost. Commander, Sila, I spoke harshly to you before. I said things I regret, but I should never have doubted you. This victory would not have been possible without your help. Sila listens to all this in silence, then she turns to you, and there's a question in her eyes. Don't pay any attention to him. He's a cultist. Why would you believe a word he says? Sila smiles grimly. Yes, you're right. We'll discuss this later. Sila picks up the bowl of jewelry and pours the contents in the pouch. Inside the bag, the gemstones gleam ominously. We have the souls. I'll keep them with me till we reach Dresden. Let's go, Altamar. I don't want to see her any longer. Alright, let's get out of the Sirico, at least for everyone that can. And we'll start... Nothing, because we can't do anything until everyone's out of the Sirico. Darren is finally out. I believe everyone is out now. We'll start dispelling our own Sirico's. And then we're going to loot this area. I think it's all of ours, right? It's just his remaining now. Nope, there we go. They're all gone now. Alrighty, let's loot the body. So we got Jeweler's Notes, a red gem. The Hammer of Masterpiece, which is a plus five light hammer. Which does some other stuff, obviously. Mithril Chain Shirt, Belt of Physical Form, plus six. It's actually Dex and Con. It's pretty good. Natural Armor, Ring of Protection... Ring of Renowned Artisan, which is plus 12 competence bonus on Knowledge Arcana, and plus 5 to craft scrolls or potions. And then we got some stupid potion from the dead Calavagus. So let's go loot the rest of this place. I'm glad I was useful to you. Just gonna go ahead and pick up all the stuff. What's this? Some cash monies. Cash monies and an amulet of deep roots, plus five natural armor, plus immunity to bull rush and overrun, as well as plus three competence to against huge or big enemies, huge or bigger enemies. And I think that's everything in here. There we go. Anyone have anything to say? You know, it's strange. I'm not scared at all. I think I've forgotten how to be afraid. We must remain vigilant. Baphomet service can be quite or servants can be quite cunning. Yes, they can. I think? Oh no, we need to figure this out. Hang on, hang on. There's notes. Uh, the Jewel Crafter probably... It's probably the Jewel Crafter's notes, if I had to hazard a guess. No, go away. I don't want that. I just want date, newest to oldest. Chalcodoni is a gem that's often overlooked. Its color evokes the pale hues of deep snow, much like the warm yellow glint of amber. And then... Okay, why not start the year with winter, move to autumn... And why shouldn't autumn flow into spring, and then summer could be the last? Okay, so start the year with winter, that's the pale blue. Then move to autumn, which is the amber. And then autumn flows into spring, which is what? Spring must be the other one, and then summer's the last season. There's only three gem colors, I think. Which one is amber? The one on the right, I guess? Oh, I see. There's red. Okay. Um, Let's read that again. Hail and then amber. Seasonal qualities. What would... I guess somewhere would be red, probably.
That was correct. Something is not right here. Uh-oh. We've pressed the thing. If you're reading this note, I must be dead. And even in death, I have lured you into my trap. Greed is a sure path to the grave. There's a Galbrazoo. A giant Galbrazoo. Okay. I think it's a Galbrazoo, actually, but that's fine. Labrazoo. Um, and some other things. There's an Uliudru somewhere. Oh, it's in the hallway. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. It's also stunned, which is fun. Make your peace. Almost dead. Be okay. It, nothing happened. That guy's dead. Well, let's jump back up on our horse. We need some haste, I think. <clears throat> Delaying him. And we're just gonna grab haste. Can we get in here and fight something? No, but can we charge something? Also no. I will Hit that guy. He is feared and running away like a maniac. That one is not though. Let me just try to dispel her magic. Make things easier on myself. Did she not get close enough to cast a spell? That's annoying. Alright, well, go fight. Darren, can you get closer? Yeah, do that. You have a dispel as well. We got rid of... Really nothing, honestly. Nothing of import anyways. Did hit her. That's kind of good. There we go. We're fine. You're coming in. You're not coming in. All right. Let's go chase him down. The light take you. So it comes to this. I'm gonna bring Arushale into here too. See if she can get some shots on him. If maybe he runs weird directions. Or he'll get knocked over and we can easily kill him. Alright. Everyone has died again. Now can we loot the things? Oh, the chest was not anything there particularly good. I finished here. Is there more? The mirror has no magic aura, but it obviously hangs here for some reason. The mechanism of the rotating wall grinds heavily if you press on it. It looks like it's jammed. There's gotta be a way to open this, and we're gonna find it. I have a weird red gem that I don't know what to do with, and there's nothing here. Maybe I didn't, maybe I wasn't supposed to hit that first. We could back up a tiny bit. Kind of. We'd have to do that fight again, but that's probably okay. I'm going to redo the fight, come back here and see if I can reopen this. Hang tight. One second. Okay, this took me too long to figure out, like, a long time. I kind of, like, wandered back and forth a whole bunch of times, I think. Actually, I know because I, I tested it out. Uh, to to open this whole thing, there's a mirror for a reason. It's a plain normal mirror, which means you need to mirror the po the uh, the pattern you put in initially. So you go that one, right? And then you go, I can't do it. There we go. That one, that one, that one. And it'll rotate this. Now this won't start at the trap. But there's another chest here. So. There you go. Now 
Now we save. Now it's not jammed either. So you get a gnawing magic thing, which is a uh, headband of intelligence plus six, where it gains plus one to checks made to overcome spell resistance and negative one to attack and damage rolls on the enemy. That's cool. The effect stacks to a maximum of four. That's actually really impressive. Bunch of random junk Trust other than that. Yourself. So that was the best reward that you can get from it. I recommend doing that. So yeah, you just put that same pattern in, here. but backwards. If you do loot the other chest first, it is jammed and you cannot turn it. So just as a heads up, if you want to get the cooler rewards, don't go loot the chest right away. If you don't care, then just uh, let it slide. But for now, I think we're done here. We are going to head out and uh, we've done the soul thing. I'm sure that there's a decree or something related to it, but we are officially finished. We'll head back outside and take a look at if there's a decree or something we can do. Otherwise, we are done this video. For now, though, other than the decree, we'll call it here. In the next video, we'll do something. We should go strengthen the chain of command. Apparently, that's what we're going to do. Uh, logistics reform, we can't do it yet until tomorrow. We need to do the records of Polaris Stargazers as well. That's just another thing. There's so many logistics related ones we haven't done. Let's get more beer elementals. We might as well. And that uh, looks like it's going to be everything so far. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.